Hi everyone, we're going to determine which conic is it. Um, basically, since we both have squares here, and my uh, coefficients in front are different, it means it's a hyperbola or an ellipse. This one's a hyperbola because this is a positive, this is a negative. This video is intended for after you've already studied hyperbolas, and so it's basically a, just a review on how to complete the square and find uh, information about hyperbolas. So basically what I'm going to do is factor out a 3. You're going to get x minus 6x. I'm going to go ahead and put a square or a box. Be careful with the next step. We're going to do y minus, uh, it's going to be plus 6y now. Because when you're putting a parentheses here, remember there's this negative, so you have to change that to a positive. Because uh, negative times a positive is a negative. And go ahead and put your box here. Equals zero. And we're going to have to, so that's just zero plus three times whatever we add here. Minus the box here. Now complete the square. Half of 6 is 3 squared, and you get 9. And here, half of 6 is um, 3. And so basically, you get 9 as well. Okay, so we get 9 here. So what you're going to get is, just a minute. So what you're going to get here is 27. Minus 9 is 18. So uh, let's, this was 9 as well. So let's clean this up. You get x minus 3 squared minus y plus 3 squared equals 18. All right, then divide everything by 18. So I can put it in standard form, and you're going to get x minus 3 squared minus, uh, oh, this is going to be over 6, minus y plus 3 squared over 18 equals 1. Okay, so we, we want to graph this and find information. The main thing you need to know is x leads, so all the information is going to follow on the x. The foci is going to be on the x. It's going to open left and right because that's on the x. The transverse axis is going to be uh, horizontal and so forth. So let's uh, look at it. Yeah, I'm going to write it down again. We have x minus 3 squared over 3. This actually should be over 6, sorry. Over 6 minus y plus 3 squared over 18 equals 1. So my center is 3 comma negative 3. And that's your center. And now I want to just kind of find out the information about it. So a squared is you just pick the first one is 6, b squared is 18, and c squared is 24. <coughs> so a equals plus or minus square root of 6, b equals plus or minus square root of 18, and c equals plus or minus square root of 24. Now, I'm not going to simplify these yet because I need to know where they are. So, um, let me go ahead and simplify. Square root of 18 is just going to be uh, 9 times 2, so that's going to be 3. Square root of 2. And square root of 24 is going to be 4 times 6, so that's going to be 2 square root of 6. I just want you to know that. I like, I'd rather look at this because it's it's more helpful for me to graph. Now, um, since everything's going to be in the x, my vertices 
is going to be 3 plus square root of 6, common negative 3, and 3 minus square root of 6, negative 3. And um, my foci is on the x, so that's just going to be 3 plus square root of um, 24 if you want. Let's do it the proper way. So that's going to be um, 2 square root of 6, common negative 3 and 3 minus 2 square root of 6, common negative 3. And I think that's uh, the slope is just you're going to take the square root of 18 over the square, uh, the square root of 6. So it's going to be, because um, this is, it, remember the slope of the asymptote is y over x. So it's going to be 3 um, square root of 2 over square root of 6. When you simplify this, you're going to get, um, we're going to multiply this by square root of 6 over square root of 6, which would be 3 square root of 12 over 6. If you clean that up, that's going to be 6 square root of 3 over 6, which equals square root of 3. So that's plus or minus 3. Now that's just for information. As far as graphing, um, I'm basically going to use this information. And again, this was based on a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, now, so let's graph it. I'm going to copy the equation down again. We have x minus 3 squared over 6 minus y plus 3 squared over 18 equals 1. Now I'm going to get my center here. My center is 3, negative 3. Okay. On my x, that's the square root of 6. So what I do is the square root of 6 is in between square root of 4 and the square root of 9. So it's in between 2 and 3. So I'm just going to basically estimate. So I'm going to go 2 little over here and here. All right. My uh, y is this. So square root of 18 is in between square root of 16 and the square root of 25. So basically, this is in between uh, 4, square root of 18 is in between uh, 4 and 5. So from my center, I'm going to just going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a little more. Go down 1, 2, 3, 4, and a little more it's in between. Now I'm going to make a little box, rectangular box here. And again, this is just estimate. We already filled out all the information. So there's my box. I'm going to draw my asymptotes. Again, we already know the slopes of the asymptotes. I'm going to go from corner of this box through the center. There's your asymptotes. All right. There you go. Since x leads, this is going to open on the vertices right here. So it's going to open up this way to the left, I mean to the right, and to the left. And your foci is going to go um, right in this area here. So there's your, let me do a different color. Foci is going to go here and around here. And we already, like I said, we already have the information. Um, all written down in this area so you can look at that but basically when I'm graphing I just look at the equation and go from that um, again your transverse axis is your horizontal and your conjugate as axis is your vertical your transverse axis is the main axis transverse since X starts here 
that means it's horizontal because X is on the horizontal. And your con uh, conjugate axis, who's the follower, that's going to be a vertical axis. And that's all. Thank you and have a nice day.